restricted area, like I said. Uh, well, then it's open to the public. What well, do you mean it's, it's, it's not open to the public. I can't just go in the lobby and inquire about visitor stuff and sign up for things and. Uh, it's a private uh, restricted area, so we are. So how do people get in then to inquire about stuff? We are asking you to leave at this. No, I'm leaving, but I'm just asking you. I'm you definitely can, leaving. You can Hey guys, Pink Camera Magic here, and I'm here to do a follow-up on this audit that I did at the Argonne Research Laboratory in, um, in Ch right outside of Chicago, Illinois. Now, I wanted to bring a couple things to your attention, guys. Um, first and foremost, I, you obviously, if you saw the audit, you saw that I left, and that's kind of a big deal, but I have to let you know that you don't have to sit there and get arrested in order to prove a point, necessarily. You don't have to actually be arrested in order to show that they violated your civil rights. So, um, but I wanted to do this and I wanted to show that there was a follow-up involved. And afterwards we were able to send the video to the management and they did some corrective action. And from what I understand, he actually got into some trouble and they had to redo some training. A day or two after we posted this video, I actually received an email from somebody who works there who told me the information and told me that they had a big meeting about it and it was like a big deal. So oh, we wanted to see for ourselves if the changes actually had actually come into effect. So what I decided to do is decided to return back to Argonne Research Laboratory, but this time I wasn't going to be alone. So I decided to bring along with me Chi Town Sue and Denise Lin. So we actually, uh, we returned back to Argonne, went back into the visitor's area, the part that's actually open to the public. Of course, we didn't go past the secure, um, the security forces and into the restricted area because we know that, you know, we can't do that, obviously. So we went back into the area and this is what happened. Denise Lynn, we're at Argonne National Laboratory. And we're gonna come finish this story. We're working on. I don't know who this person is. Base is loaded. Right. I guess I was told that these cones are like a sure tell sign that Allied Universal is on the case. and come up here. Now, any person from the public who reads these no trespassing signs, right, are posted right here, obviously have to walk past this gate right there. Hello. And right there. 
Second notice from the top says this property protected by electronic surveillance. Must be worn at all times. Uh, badges and passes must be worn at all times beyond this point. So it's beyond this point right here. So you do not need badges or passes to be between here and that fence or here where the visitor center is. I don't know why Bubba over here asked if he's got that one pointed to us. Huh. Maybe they're uh, they're probably reevaluating something. Say I did get a few phone calls. Maybe they're surrounding us, right? Maybe.
trying to get you in the video. No expectation of privacy, sweetheart. Or maybe they got the message, we'll see. Look, Sue's over here, she's supposed to be incognito. I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> that he said once you pass the gate you're trespassing so he acknowledges that he knows where the boundaries are I think they learned their lesson yeah push what what do you mean oh yeah told me I was trespassing once the I saw that. Look, I thought I, was, I thought Sue was like, she can't take no more. <laughs> He's looking at her though. He's mm -hmm. curious. Look, she can't. <laughs> she can't help herself. She's, 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 yeah, she was. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finger and all. First Amendment. Way to go, baby. <laughs> well, I can hear her talking now. She's like, ah, nice. And here we go again, one year later, and this time I decided to return randomly with Shy town Citizen. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post his link in the description to make sure you subscribe. And thank you for watching. Hello everybody, here Pink Camera Magic, and as you probably see by the sign there, I'm at the Argonne Information Center. And uh, this is in beautiful Chicago, Illinois. I'm joined by a Chi Town citizen right here. What's going on, guys? We're going to make sure that they respect our right to record. about the focus Siren. Yeah. <laughs> so over here's the the visitor center and this is all public area or publicly accessible I should say.
So for those of you who don't know, this is actually going to be a return visit for me. Um, I was out here about a year ago, a little less than that maybe, and um, it was a pretty epic fail. And so we just wanted to sort of stop back and make sure that they um, learned and decided to go ahead and respect our right to film here. All right, the blue truck is like security, I believe. I don't know if you noticed the blue truck. Yeah, I did. But those are like security. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. Um, last time I was here, whoever was in the thing came out and approached me and told me I couldn't take pictures. And then they called like two supervisors, like another supervisor came, then he went, and then another supervisor came. And that one put me out like <laughs> there's a fence right there and I didn't I wasn't really in a position at the time to call his bluff on it um, so I went to the fence and then he tried telling me that I had to go all the way outside of the forest reserve oh, basically God. I'm like um, yeah okay yeah. I wonder if he's working I don't know <laughs> I heard he got in a lot of trouble though It actually kind of looks like the same guy, to be honest with you. Not the one who put me out, but I, there's actually another guy there who was decent. Mm -hmm. Like a young cat, and I almost wonder if that's the guy. But I'm not sure. I need a tripod, I can't stand still. I'm like, it's cold. It is nice for February. Hmm? Yeah, that thing is awesome. Well, he obviously isn't going to say anything to us. I wonder if maybe they have some kind of protocol now. They may have been taught. Yeah. Were they just like... Because it seems like as soon as we got here, he like got on the phone, I don't know if you noticed that, mm -hmm. he called and then the truck drove by and yeah, I have a feeling that they had some serious, you know, so I don't know if you want to stick around or... Yeah, 
stood up. All right. <laughs> they did a good job. Yeah. Our work is done here. <laughs>